looking back over 20, 21 years, as a, a proud member of, of the Ummah, I would say that the greatest surprise for me has been people's pessimism. That somehow they're so preoccupied with their own insecurities and their own communities that they can't see the big picture. Firstly, the <coughs> theological big picture, which is that everything's in Allah's hands, just as it always has been. And that this may be an age in which there is a lot of rigor and sometimes beauty is not immediately discernible. But rigor is also equally an attribute of Allah and we should be content with his decree because as the poem says, uh, we can benefit from Allah's withholding just as much as we benefit from his giving. And the little picture which is that the state of the Ummah when compared to other Ummahs is actually remarkably miraculously good. That we have the basic outlines intact. The doctrine is still there. The practices are still there. Five times prayer in the mosque, everywhere still. Ramadan is still in its essence intact. The Hajj is still the Hajj. That the basic bedrock of the faith is, alhamdulillah, intact. And a source of, of radiant happiness and unity and goodness for so many people, giving hope uh, and a sense of beauty and meaning to people who otherwise would have nothing at all. That is still there. And that's the great miracle in this age. This is an age in which miracles are continuing, but they are big miracles because there is no miracle greater than a religion that comes to us from an utterly different age, but does not make compromises with this age. Everybody else is making compromises. Uh, the Dalai Lama says that maybe Buddhism isn't against homosexuality after all. Uh, the Christians seem to invent new forms of worship every year, and it's, they're just in a sea that constantly changes, but we're the rock of, we're the rock of ages. And if we hold on to that, which is <clears throat> fundamentally the mercy that is Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he is ruknan, khayr munhadimi, he's the column that can never be demolished, then it is bushra lana, and we can be proud. And anybody from another ummah who really knows what religion is about, rather than just turning it into a kind of woolly-minded social service, will have nothing but respect for us. They may not agree with us, they may oppose us, but they will respect us because we still see things in proportion. We know what counts. We know that what counts is truth, is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And if the world shouts about us because they don't like our attitudes to criminal law or to gender or whatever, uh, we are not shouted down. We are never shouted down. We don't change because of anybody else protesting. Hmm? This is a verse in the Bible that the Christians seem to have forgotten, apart from a few conservatives. Uh, be not conformed unto this world. No lite conformari, huec a seculo. Um, we're the only ones who uphold that. We are the ones who continue to maintain a complete, sacred, beautiful vision of life amidst the shouting meaningless of late modernity and the shallowness of consumer advertising nihilism that is the modern human condition. And that is why our ship is going to pull through these stormy waters and everybody else realizing that their ships have given in and have let in too much water and have foundered, they're gonna to come to our ship sooner or later because we're, we're all that's left. Only we have that silsila. Only we have that radiant figure at the center of our faith, the, the human being who is the perfected human being who is still accessible, who can still be known. We're the only ones who have that. So all of this to me is the source of extraordinary optimism and hope and inshallah thankfulness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that despite what <clears throat> many of us think, this is an age of extraordinary divine giving, of extraordinary divine hifs and preservation of, of the ummah, that under conditions under which everybody else has given up basically and gone with the secular preoccupations and and priorities of the modern world, we continue to be going Allah Sirat al-Mustaqim, inshallah. So 